So in this latest version of XCS, we now have a new smart nesting feature in the applications panel. And nesting is something I've used daily for years on every single sheet I've cut. And if you don't know what nesting is, it's basically a smart, efficient way of rearranging parts onto a sheet to do it automatically for you, to minimize waste and maximize material utilization. But it does have its limitations, and I'll get to that later on in the video. But for now, I'm just going to turn off auto rotate and treat contained elements as a whole. And I've got the sheet set up at 400 mil by 400 millimeters, and I'm gonna leave this on. And all we need to do is select everything and click start nesting. And you can see it's already arranged the parts, but we do have two parts down here that we know we could move into these positions to be better. So all we need to do is just keep clicking start nesting and it'll go around and change the positions until we get something we like, such as this. But if we zoom in, what you can see is there's absolutely no space between each of the parts. And that's down to this Donaset packing. So what we can do is turn that off and choose a spacing. And this is a spacing between the parts. So if we choose something like three millimeters and select all the parts again and choose start nesting, you can now see that we do have a spacing of three millimeters around each of the parts. If I undo and go back to the original, zoom out, and this time I'm going to choose everything and click on auto rotate. And if we click start nesting now, it's actually rotated some of the parts to what it sees is best to maximize the sheet utilization. But knowing from experience, anything with straight sides is always best without the auto rotate on. Then we have auto ungroup. So if there was part grouped such as these, we we'll leave these two grouped. And if we turn off auto rotate and select everything now without auto ungroup checked, when we nest, we can now say that these are still grouped. But if this time we select everything and click auto ungroup, then it'll go around and split everything up into their own separate part, as you can see. Going back again, the last option, we've got treat contained elements as a whole. And I've got some parts over here. And what I'll do this time is these two parts are not grouped and not a compound path. But if we select this, and then select everything and click start nesting, it keeps the parts together. Even though they're separate, it will keep them together. But this time, if we select everything on uncheck and click start nesting, it actually moves the part out. And if we just undo again, and make sure these are all ungrouped. Where nesting really comes into the part is if we have lots of small shapes as well. So to go around and rearrange all these parts by hand would take quite a long time. But what we can do again is select everything. We can choose auto rotate this time because we have lots of small parts. And if we keep these treated as a whole, so we have these parts here that'll all be as one piece and click start nesting. This time in just a few seconds, it's rearranged everything to maximize the material and give less waste. So that is where nesting really comes into its own. But as I said, it does have its limitations. So if we just ungroup and go back a bit. Now I'm just gonna move these out of the way and draw a box. And I'm gonna make that about 300 millimeters by 300 and make sure that's at zero, zero because that's where the nesting starts here. And I'm going to lock this so we can't select. Now this time I'm going to select everything and 
choose the sheet size of 300 by 300 and I'm just going to leave everything as is and click start nesting. So what we get now is nesting failed due to insufficient material space. Please adjust the material size. Now in every other nesting program I've used what it should do is nest as much as it can into this space here and then follow on onto the next sheet and the next sheet and the next sheet but it doesn't do that so what we would really need to do is basically manually move some parts to what you can guess you'd be able to fit on so we would know we'd be able to fit on all of these and some of these so if we selected all these and click start nesting we know that will work then we can select all of these and all of these and choose start nesting and we can just about get all of those on but again if we chose all of these and one of these and choose start nesting we managed to get them all on and if we chose these and the rest and choose start nesting again we get the problem so you might need to manually move some parts and it's probably best to draw a box and lock it just so you know what what you can fit on basically but other than that it's a really handy feature so afx tool does any upgrades in the future one great upgrade would be to be able to just select everything click start nesting and have it fit this box then fit the next box and the next one if it needs to but other than that it's a really handy feature and it'll save your material save your waste and save your money in the long run and just to finish this sheet off we know we can fit this on and this and I'm going to choose some of these and click start nesting and then I'll probably choose some of these and click start nesting we can't fit all of those on so if we just deselect some we just keep going until we reach the maximum and that's about it and I just want to jump in quickly to say if you need any professionally drawn high quality designs then please check out my Etsy store and Design Find store. I've got hundreds of designs and there's literally something for everyone. So please check them out. Links in the description below. And back to the video. And just if you're wondering if you could use mixed shapes and mixed fills, all we need to do is click start nesting and the answer is yes. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.